What would end in blood on prom night began in blood that day in the locker room after that stupid, stupid volleyball game. Of course, none of us realized it at the time. To us, that day was just a crueler variation of the same old story. Carrie White getting kicked in the teeth yet again. Carrie had never done anything bad to us, and we... We hurt her. And it wasn't just the shower room. It was a lot more than that. The mean tricks have been going on ever since grammar school. It seemed like a big laugh. It went on and on and on, and I can't even remember where it started anymore. If I had been Carrie, I couldn't even face showing myself to the world. I'd just find a big rock and hide under it. Lots of kids said they felt sorry for Carrie White, but I bet none of them understood what it's like to be Carrie White every second of every day. So I thought that someone ought to try to be sorry in a way that would actually count. That would actually mean something. In a way that would actually change things and make her a part of things. And you know, after this tragedy, people are going to believe whatever they want to believe about Carrie. But I can tell you who she really was. She was the girl who agonized over what lipstick to buy so she would look pretty for her first date. The girl who wanted to be brought home early from her only school dance so her mother wouldn't worry. She wasn't some monster. She was just a girl with hopes and dreams and fears like anyone. And she hurt in ways that most of us could never imagine. She hurt. And that night, that horrible night, they hurt her for the last time. And so, I'm sorry, and I hope it was good for her, that prom, until the terror began. I hope it was good and fine and wonderful and magic. Now I'm sending this confession, whatever it is, out there so that people will never forget Carrie White and what she did to us. But more importantly, what we did to her. Maybe, hopefully, people can learn something from it. I hope so. Let him go. Let him go.